Hey everybody, I'm just going to go ahead and show you a quick little video on how I did this. I've been getting asked a lot in the past few days um, how I did this. So originally this was a ring pour that kind of looked like that. This one came out much prettier. I think it looks, I don't know, pretty interesting. So I don't want to do a, um, any type of anything on top. So I'm going to leave that one alone. But basically that's what it kind of looked like. Um, I had mixed feelings about it. This is like the only thing that really caught my eye. Everything else looked a little muddy. So I wanted to, instead of paint over it, try something. So I decided to try this basket weaving. So I've gone ahead already um, and put scotch tape here. Um, this is how you'll do it. For demonstration purposes, I'll only do like these two lines so I don't waste my tape. Um, but you're gonna go ahead and, you know, mark out your canvas you know you can use a thicker tape um, whatever just play around with whatever ideas you may have this is what I had so it's what I used um, so yeah you'll want to go and just do your whole canvas um, this part you know don't rush it you want your lines to be as straight as possible you know everything taped down really nice so you know whatever you use whether it be paint or markers um, it doesn't bleed through now let me do the vertical lines. So you'll just do those. And again, for demonstration purposes, I'll just do these two. Right. Okay. So let's pretend the whole canvas is done like this. You can either go in with a pencil and mark out everything if you're going to take the tape off and freehand the lines, or you can go in with, this is what I used. Um, they're called Royal Brush Azul Markers. They're alcohol markers that I got at Walmart. Um, they have two different types of tips. I went in with the skinnier tip and just basically marked out my lines, right? So when it comes to the ends here, like I didn't want a harsh line all the way through, so I'll show you what I did. Um, but basically you just wanna do your whole canvas like that and you'll get like all these little boxy lines, all of that. So with the ends here, I basically drew my line to like midway point these markers come with what they call a blender so you basically just take this chip you can even do it once you take the tape off so you can see it better but you basically just go over the line like I would start midway through and it kind of feathers it out sorry it wasn't in frame there it feathers it out you can do that um, up to you play around with it the original video I saw she did use paint but it didn't work out for me too well. I don't know. Um, I feel like I had more control with the marker. Now, once you get all your lines, then you're going to go ahead and remove your tape. You definitely want to wait till your canvas is dry. You don't want to do this on, you know, something you painted a day ago or so. All right. So now to get the weaving parts, because remember these are the parts that we didn't really do, you're going to take, you can use the same tape if you want, but you definitely want to cut it so you have nice straight lines. Let's cut a little bit more. Okay. And now you're going to go over and that's too much. This is where most of your time is going to take up. So now you're going to go over like that. And like that. So you're basically now just doing filling in like for the lines to actually make the weaves, right? So this part can get a little tricky. 
I'll definitely link the original video below. She goes into it into more detail because she's actually doing it. I'm just trying to show you how I did it <laughs> on the one that I did. Um, but basically, yeah, you're going to do that in every direction. So, for instance, over here now. You'll do it here. And you'll, you know, mark your lines. So that's why you kind of want to leave space in between every one that you do so you can put in the new piece of tape and mark your lines out. And then once you have all that marked out with the marker or paint, however you want to do it, come on. I went in with a charcoal and I basically went right on my line, went over the line with it, grabbed my blending stump, and just blended it. Less is more because you really can't take it off, so you kind of just play with it, adding, adding. It took me about, just to do the lines and the shading, about a day and a half. Um, so use your time wisely I guess you know you don't have to speed through this and um, just pay attention to like you know how a shadow will cast on something so that's basically how you want to recreate the shadows so you know play with it it's this was my first time doing it so I feel like I could have done a little bit better but I don't think it was that bad I had a lot of fun doing it and I actually think it looks the best um, here. I feel like this pops out more for some reason when it's on the bottom. But yeah, basically that's it. Um, I just want to now get some epoxy or some resin and coat it. I think it'll really make that white pop out. So yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys so much for the love. I really, really appreciate it, and I'll definitely link um, the original video that I got this um, idea from. Her, her um, Instagram page is, I'm sorry, her YouTube page is me painting. I'll link it below. All right, guys, thanks. Bye.